Hello guys, welcome to the channel. It's time for the very last DLC of the Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the Bar Home. And as always, we uh, got some goodies, Eternal Reward. Uh, no, I, I believe that is the name of the final quest and the final tomb is Mother Protector. And as always, we get some goodies. Uh, some dress. Oh, I hope I can find it in game. Cool bow. And it, this one, it looks like one I already have, but we shall see. And that's pretty much it. Let's get to the gameplay. A new adventure awaits eternal reward. And it begins from San Juan. Fight the final battle and experience the ultimate reward in the path of home. Okay, interesting. I was hoping for a final boss of some kind. Uh, some kind of a big big boss. And perhaps we will get one. We shall we shall see. Lara, over here. I need to talk to you. And so here, here it begins. Okay. Mariana's dream. Abby, you look concerned. Is something wrong? No, not really wrong. After you left me and Pilar alone, she gave me Grandma's secret journals. So, I've been reading those and there's a lot to absorb. You can't expect to learn everything Mariana knew all at once. It takes time. Yes. She had a dream once. A vision of the future. In it she describes a woman who looks exactly like you. Oh. Naturally, I don't want to say too much about it. Yet. After your conflict with Amaru is over, when the fate of the Silver Box of Ishel has been decided, can you meet me back here? Of course. Hey, good to see you. Lara! I see everybody's been introduced. How did you get here? Our allies in battle, the Ashil, have vanished from Paititi. But they left a trail I was able to follow. It led me here. That's what Mariana's vision was about. Why I asked you to meet me here. You think the Yashil are in trouble? I don't know. That's where you come in. According to Grandma, you and the Yashil have some kind of special connection? Yes. I don't know. Then it rests that. on you to find out what happened. I'll do what I can. <laughs> I told them you'd say that. The recent volcanic activity opened up a fissure in the ground. On the other side is some kind of tunnel. Linked cool. to the Yashil somehow? Hmm. Maybe Andres Lopez wasn't as crazy as we thought. Either way, a hidden underground tunnel sounds like the perfect place to start. Explore the tunnel. Okay, so we... We jumped into a completely new location. At least I think it is. I... I doubt I've seen this place before. Yeah, well, it, it worked me. Uh, fast travel will be disabled. That, that's why. How did they get here? It's always crazy. here because of some document written centuries ago by a crazy guy. We're not here because of the document. Don't even remember We're here who because Dominguez trusted the instructions on that document. Dominguez was crazy too. Damn, they have grenades. 
grenades and such. I don't even remember how to how to swim. again with a more suitable weapon perhaps like a machine gun I can't believe we came here because we got documented we centuries ago by a crazy guy we're not here because we're documented we're here because Dominguez trusted the instructions on that document Dominguez was crazy too I gotta say I owe those guys an apology. For salvaging the big gun? I thought they were being paranoid. I can't even bringing that heavy, stupid thing into the tunnels with us. But now, I'm glad we have it. Everyone was pessimistic. Things were going to shit. But nobody figured those creatures would still be around. So I don't remember the name of the creatures, but they, they helped me with the final mission of the main game. I guess I have no choice except to... BC, it's you know? obvious these tunnels were built by those creatures. What were we thinking? Some nice dialogue. Using mud to evade That was it. Should I check? I didn't have much ammo, but I'm gonna check. Check if we have any loot here. Today I finally uninstalled Sekiro Shadow Sky twice. I, I played. 80 hours plus, something like 8, 82 hours or so, and just uh, it already felt like I'm not, I'm not gonna, not gonna need it. Hey, what's that? It also started to feel quite easy. Geni Hero, the first form, got me a couple of times, but pretty much all the other bosses I, I managed to deal without. With, uh, without dying and didn't feel like playing it again I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch the alternate endings from YouTube okay so what am I gonna do with this come on should, should 
that break it somehow. That was not the correct one. Perhaps fire. Fire arrow. They, they, oh, I do have a shotgun. Perhaps shotgun. Holy shit! Shotgun Jesus Holy shit! Croft is here! Oh no. no. That doesn't look good. Shoot her! Shoot her! I have to stay low. Holy shit! Get the cover! Yeah.
I hope it's saved close by. Yes. He's out of the firearm! Reposition! Reposition! Oh. Yeah, the other way around. Oh. Started in the right way, really fun, engaging. <coughs> Lots of good things. <coughs> Little bit back. <coughs> yeah, I guess. I turned into a taxi. A new gun. Good. That's the last of them. Really? I was hoping I could have used that machine to them. <coughs> oh no. Oh no, it looks like a puzzle. So, I'm not gonna try jumping over there. Looks like a bit dangerous. Nothing dramatic yet. a bonfire I guess we will see shortly jump and one of these there was this one DLC where I really was was not a fan of this running jumping thing I probably tried 20 times before I got it. I think it was the second DLC. Okay, bonfire. No, it's, it's just a flare. 
What do we have here? These are notes the missionary took while he was in Paititi, at the resting place of the silver box. They describe a network of tunnels underground leading all the way from Paititi to here. Based on what Lopez found, he made calculations for overland travel, which is why he ended his travels at the mission of St. John. He wasn't just digging the catacombs to hide the box. He was looking for these caverns. Okay. And... Ah, uh, okay, I guess this, this is now the final tomb. Usually these DLCs, they follow this layout uh, that you first, first you will do some pre-task and then you will get that warning that it's, it's about to go to the final tomb. Um, in this case, it, it's, it's not so tomb-y, tomb-like. However you want to say it. A door ornamented with Maya designs. That must be my destination. <laughs> oh, almost pressed the wrong button. And I actually did, but luckily corrected. <laughs> Just soon enough. Oh, come on. One of these is right. Whatever. Probably have these already. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to have to get in there. Somehow I have to get this. I don't know how. If I if I let go, it's just gonna fall back again. Yes, I have. Just in my time. way to go. I'm not really sure if there is anything else. Well, there is that direction. <coughs> I could go from here. I'm glad I did it. Spend any more time with that, but I, I just thought it was a puzzle. But it was obvious there was nothing to be done with, uh, done about it. The door closed too fast. Okay. This is ancient, far older than everything else in the area. This is definitely a puzzle. There must be signifiers nearby which indicate how to open the central door. So, can I get it? <laughs> the ceiling's lowering. Got to move. There should be a way somehow to open these gates. What's this? Ah, uh, way back. There should be a way somehow to open these gates. 
This plate seems to control those spikes. Ah, oh, I see. There should be a way somehow to open these gates. So I just probably I just have to be fast. No. There should be a way somehow to open these gates. See from where the grab. What's happening? I'm sure there's a way to get these gates open. Yeah. Perhaps I could just rope. I'm sure there's a way to get these gates open. Seems like I have so I'm sure there's a way to get these gates open. But I, I did open it. What now? I guess I'll just have to do it. the same thing for each and every one of them. I'm sure there's a way to get these gates open. Yes, me too. I can't reach that. Yet. There must be a way to open these gates. <coughs> Don't even know which gates was me. The one at the back, perhaps. <coughs> at least they are quite straightforward. <coughs> I'm sure there's a way to get these gates open. Okay, I guess that was it. We should have one more. This one. <laughs> should be a way somehow to open these gates. <sighs> Another blocked door. I'm sure there's a solution around somewhere. I'm sure there's a way to get these gates open. Must be a hint somewhere about which is the right one. Okay, I hope I can remember that.
Those symbols, there must be a hint somewhere about which is the right one. Try this. This one. If it's in one eye, let's do them both at the same time. I'm sure there's a way to get these gates open. Like this one also, and then it locks down. Another symbol. This is getting interesting. Okay, so this looks like a left hand. So I should have one more. like figure uh, not for this one that that has all of them I think yes at least it has all of them it also has some extra oh no that one that one doesn't have all of them. Okay, let's try it. Here goes nothing. And it opens. The path leads deeper into the temple. So that's where I'm going. That one, but it was only only to come down. Unscathed. No, no, Incredible. Deal. This is Shakik, the blood maiden herself. She created the silver box and the Yashil. The statue is incomplete. There must be a way to reposition the different parts of it. Mm. There must be a way to control the front of the statue. Perhaps this one? Okay, some... Two new paths. Let's see where they lead. be a way to control the front of the statue.
statue needs to be properly reassembled. So it's probably this one. Oh, I have no idea. What the glowing that. symbols in the other rooms may be hints as to how to open the main door. Glowing symbols in other rooms. a way to control the front of the statue. The statue needs to be properly reassembled. Glowing symbols in the other rooms may be hints as to how to open the main door.
The glowing symbols in the other rooms may be hints as to how to open the main door. Well, I, I don't see any glowing symbols. Incredible. This is Shakik, the blood maiden herself. She created the silver box and the Yashiel. The statue is incomplete. There must be a way to reposition the different parts of it. The statue needs to be properly reassembled. Glowing parts in other rooms. I, I don't think I can get... The glowing that. symbols in the other rooms may be hints as to how to open the main door. Can't get back into any. Perhaps this. Okay, this dagger on the left side. Left side. Be a way to control the front of the statue. Did it open? The statue needs to be properly reassembled. But it's open. The statue needs to be properly reassembled. Perhaps I can, I can get it. No. No, the Liberator also has to be there. The left arm and leg are in place. I want both right ones. Okay, I'll, I'll just do them manually. <laughs> With the harder difficulties, I think obviously it would be quite a bit more difficult because wouldn't get any hints. <laughs> okay, so let's get into manual positioning. So Let's let's move the leg first. Saga as we at the moment. So perhaps it's now correct. We have it. Uh, the upper hand is still too high. Done it. 
Now I can go through the door. Yeah, I'm pretty sure back. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like the final price. Was it? Okay, at least it was a report, but ah, I can continue. Perhaps we do have a final boss. Some kind of gateway. Interesting. The Yeshil armor. I guess they didn't need it anymore. But where? They made it. They're all right. Everyone listen. The Yashil are fine. They completed the return to the heavens. The return to the heavens? That's what it's called. When the goddess Shakik created the silver box and the key, she also created the Yashil to be their guardians on this plane. Now that their duties have been carried out, they've gone back to their home. The Yashil served with honor. Their reward is to be reunited with their mother. Lara, is there an archway? Made of silver? Yes. According to the fresco, that's the door to the other plane, and now it's closed, forever. That's consistent with Mariana's vision. It fills in all the blanks. Great. I'm on my way back. Lara, oh, well, farewell. Who was that? Lara, you're back. Thank you. Now that you've fulfilled your duty to the Yashil, what's next? With the cult defeated in Paititi, my work as her protector is done. Uchu will be Etsy's military council. And that frees me to explore the world outside, serving these adopted lands as my celestial sisters did for centuries. We're lucky to have you. So the Yashil are back home. That means everything's good now, right? <laughs> everything's great. And what about you, Lara? Do you have any plans for the future? Do I? Oh, she smiled. It means a sequel. Tomb Raider sequel is coming. We, uh, this is the kind of the past we already know Lara's future is the very first Tomb Raider game it comes after this adventure you do require the AI don't really that anymore yeah, it's a bit silly to do it with some new era artists, but perhaps some people would like it because they play this, they like to play this game again with new gear. Uh, okay, so, that was the mission. Anyone I can still talk to? No, I, I believe that was it. And final, final achievement, season pro. Jonah here? No. I guess that was it, guys. Uh, well, as this is this is going to be the final episode, perhaps I should still <laughs> ramble a little bit about. I really don't regret getting the Lara Croft edition of this game it was like 80 or 100 dollars uh, 100 uh, euros I don't remember but anyways I've enjoyed every every moment of this game this game was this game didn't have a very good reception people critiqued this quite a bit 
Well, I could see some of the reasonings. Perhaps the story was not as good as people expected. Uh, facial animations could have obviously been better. But it, it's a solid game. It's even even a decent Tomb Raider game, I think. Lara is as gorgeous as ever. Uh, it had this really nice DLC system that gave a real reason to come back to the game. Come back to the game every month. Oh, this is probably the outfit. Outfit I got for present. Yeah, it's quite nice. Shows legs. Uh, well, what else is there? Not much really. We don't, at the moment, we don't even know if this was the very last Tomb Raider game ever. That is highly, highly doubtful. I believe some, someone is already planning a new Tomb Raider after, after this, but so far I guess that it's thank you everyone for watching and I will see you in the next video, whatever it's going to be. Bye!